Good morning, everyone. We are on our way to La La Land. I just had to drop something off, but it is 7.40. I'm meeting Liz at La La Land in five minutes. We're gonna go get some matcha and coffee and then go walk White Rock, which we actually haven't done at all this week, which we normally do like, honestly, at least two times a week. But anyways, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Hope you guys have been liking the daily content recently. Um, it's been so fun, but we've got Fitz in the back. Look at how cute he is, guys. And right now, it feels so nice outside. Like, it's just cooler, feels like fall, just happy. Also, I've been loving Julia Michaels' new album, so that's what I'm gonna play. Guys, look at how well-behaved Fitz is. He's on this leash because there was other people here earlier, but what a well-behaved dog. You are so good. We're going to Liz's car. Come on, right here, Fitz. This is where you're going. This is where you're going. Here you are, guys. Also, I have quite the battle wound there. I um, Okay, also, my finger looks like it's kind of inflamed. I accidentally shut the gate on my thumb as I was crying about TikTok. So, it is what it is. I saw Bray Fields actually yesterday, as I'm recording this, the podcast episode went up with the founder. So, go listen, it's actually a really good one. And they do a lot with foster care and it's really cool. guys i'm back home i just got out of the shower in yesterday's vlog i showed you guys that i got a package from princess polly i have all the clothes out here they're super cute so i'm gonna do a little haul for you guys i'm gonna do a little try on haul for you guys and also i want to try them all on to see how i like them so anyways thank you to princess polly for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to use kinsey 20 you get 20 percent off princess polly in la probably 90 percent of my closet was from princess polly it's like an ongoing joke that all my friends are like is that princess polly but Seriously, my favorite clothes, and they're also like a really good price, they're just the best, and they're super trendy, which I love. So, anyways, this is the first thing I got, I'll link everything down below, but I got this in a size 6, which I would say I'm typically between a size 4 and a 6, probably leaning more towards a 6. I just alternate depending on the fit, if that helps you guys, but I thought this was so cute, especially for just like, either a picnic or a date night or something like that. I love this, especially for fall in Texas. All right, so this tank top, I have to say right now, if you're buying anything from this haul, buy this. It is the best basic. I got it in a size four, so it fits enough to where like I don't have to wear a bra and I have like a bigger chest, so that's really saying something. Um, this is just the absolute best black tank top I've ever worn. Okay, I got this dress, which is honestly like kind of out of character for me. I pictured this with my black like cowboy boots or just black boots in general, but this is super cute, fun for fall, especially if you like wear it with a sweater or something. I don't know, I thought the material was really fun too. So this skirt, I absolutely love. I think it's really fun, like really chic. Honestly, it looks like very high end almost. It's also the most comfortable thing ever. Sometimes I find this stuff is like not flattering on my stomach, but you can kind of bunch it up, so it still looks really cute. So freaking soft, especially if you do like a monochrome look with this, like that's what I picture, like all the same color, very chic, maybe like a big white oversized like jacket, flannel type thing or something. But I love these because I really needed another pair of pants, but I just didn't know what I wanted and I feel like these are perfect for fall. Really cute if you wear heels or boots or anything like that. I just think it's great for fall. Also, so soft. It feels like you're wearing sweatpants, but you can like dress it up. Like they're definitely way nicer looking than sweatpants. And I think that they're perfect for fall. Again, I would love this as like a monochrome look. Clearly, I am really into beige this fall, but I love this skirt. It's really great, especially for this time of year, but it's super pretty. It's really flattering. Like this cut on your legs is just so flattering and it also like cinches at your waist and I love that. I got this in a size 6, you tie it together. I think it's just really pretty and delicate. These jeans are the coolest jeans literally ever. I will be wearing them today and every day. Like first off, I'll just set it down to show you guys. So this waist like this kind of asymmetrical button situation. Normally these jeans are so expensive and these on Princess Polly, I think these were like $60. I will say I definitely meant to get a size 6 and I was sent a size 4 which is actually good because they fit me and I am never a size four in denim, so like size down maybe, but they look like they're so much more expensive than they are. They're like $60 and then my code Kinsey20 for 20% off, you guys can get even cheaper, but 
Guys, these are literally the coolest jeans I've ever worn in my entire life. I will be wearing them today. Okay, I absolutely love this tank top. This green color is so in for fall. I got it in a size six. I would maybe suggest sizing down. Like I wish I would have gotten it in a size four because I felt like the other one um, which is a little bit more supportive as far as like not wearing a bra, but like so cute. I love the tie here. It's just like really cute out of detailing. Princess Polly also has the best basics on top of like all the trendy stuff I get from them. This top is so cute. I am really bad about having just cute tops on hand. I feel like I have very simple tops and that's pretty much it, but I love this long sleeve. It's also great because you can layer with it. I also have this like bralette underneath. I would size up personally. I got a size six and I definitely need a bigger size, but I got it mainly to just wear under things like this or like mesh tops and things like I really needed one. So it's really simple and it's more coverage than your average bralette, which I wanted for underneath mesh tops. This is going to be for sure like one of my most worn items in my wardrobe. It is so cute. It's just this cropped black sweater. It's so cozy. It's so soft. I actually just took an old black long sleeve and kind of tucked it up to make it look like this. And this one is so much cuter. These jeans I got in a size small. I definitely like meant to get them in a medium, but I thought these are perfect to wear with cowboy boots yet again, um, or even heels. Like I just love how these look. I think they're super fun. This was supposed to flop down. I just think they're very unique and really cool. But all right, so this is the last look. I think this is so cute. I got another tank top from Princess Polly. I actually have this in white and it's my favorite white tank top. I got this in a size six which honestly I probably should have sized down in this too, just wasn't really thinking that way. Um, but it still fits and it's really comfortable. And then I got this cute little like Princess Polly sport like tennis skirt that I think is so cute. All right, so this is what I'm gonna wear today. My two favorite pieces. Um, I just cannot get over how comfortable these pants are and how flattering they are. These just look like a really expensive pair of denim and they are so inexpensive. So size down, go buy them. So that is it. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. Literally my favorite shop and you guys will love the clothing. You guys can use code Kenzie20 for 20% off, but I'm gonna go and go put away these clothes and edit. I need to make breakfast still, but guys, I just literally like, I'm so sorry. I just cannot get over these pants. Like, are you actually joking? Here I am making my favorite avocado toast for breakfast, guys. I might like hard boil some eggs too. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have just been eating out so much. I swear it's because of my TikTok career, but you know, that may be short lived. So how did I just cut this avocado so poorly too? So wait, I have a lot of editing to do today and I also really wanna go to Sephora and just pick up new makeup products because I wanna try new stuff out and I'm also like, tired of always using the same thing and you guys need to see new products you know also i really want i have this vision for boots for the fall and like i have to find them so i'll be looking for those online today well it is 11 a.m i cannot focus right now i'm gonna reward myself for posting like 15 days consecutively and go to sephora i wanted to film a get ready for me tonight anyways and i want to make it like products that you guys recommended to me because we are having a date night which could literally be like a movie night because we or I can't really go anywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna film a get ready with me tonight and I need new products because my get ready with me's are just boring because I don't try out that many new products. All right guys, I made it to West Village. I'm so excited right now because I am currently checking out online. Today's like a big shopping day for me. I'm currently checking out online because Lux Unfiltered Savon Ayla Self Tanner, that's my favorite self tanner ever. They finally came out with face self tanner. So I got the drops. I got the drops and then I got two new bottles, like the tubes of the self tanner. The self tanner is the best one ever. I will just say like, I wish that the bottle was bigger because I feel like I go through it really quickly, but there's just like nothing like it. It is so much better than any other self tanner I've ever used. So like, I have to just put up with it, you know? Trying to make myself feel better about my failing short-lived TikTok career. This is my favorite Sephora ever. Like, it's beautiful. Also, maybe I'll get some rare stuff. I've heard really good things. I am so happy to be back. It is my first time being back. Back in the car because it's 11.30 and I realized Starbucks closes it or opens at noon right now. Or not Starbucks, Sephora. I'm actually gonna go to Starbucks. Um, yes, I already went to La, La Land today, but it's fine. I'm making a TikTok for it, okay? I wanted to try out this new drink slash. I think I actually might need some caffeine today and maybe it'll put me more in like a focused mood to edit a video. You know, that's my hope.
All right, we have about 10 minutes left. I'm literally sitting on the other side of my car because it was easier to get on this side because there were cars. And I just had to film my TikTok taste test. Um, this drink, first off, was like $7, just getting a grande. But it's definitely so bad for you. And I normally hate drinks that are bad for you. But this tastes so bomb. So I'm going to tell you. You've probably seen it on TikTok. But it's the grande ice white mocha, no whip, ice, again. Um, vanilla sweet cream cold brew with extra caramel drizzle. Like, it is just beautiful. Wow. All right, guys, it's hot. I took my jacket off. This is my outfit right now. I think it's really cute. I like it. It's really simple. But anyways, I'm walking over to Sephora. It opens in like seven minutes. And I'm just taking myself on a nice walk. I should have done, honestly, a TikTok on West Village. It's in Uptown. It's a cute little shopping center. If you live in Dallas, you definitely know what it is. I've not gone to Sephora and just bought a bunch of makeup in like a year. So it was really fun for me. I had a great time. Um, I'm procrastinating editing by doing more things. So I need to edit a TikTok and I just filmed a haul for IGTV. This is the stuff I got. If you guys want to go see the haul, IGTV. Really excited for this. Because <sighs> also the Marc Jacobs bronzer is like, that's incredible. Look, look at how big that mirror is. I guess I will probably get to editing soon. I actually edited more than I thought last night, so it's not as bad. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on all that. I'm really, really excited to try out these makeup products. Like you have no idea. All right, guys, I don't remember the last thing I filmed. I just had salmon for lunch. I lit some candles in my room. I'm about to film a Get Ready With Me. We actually aren't doing like a date night tonight. It got moved to tomorrow. But I'm still gonna do a Get Ready With Me for like the products and stuff just because I really wanna try them out and I'm excited. So it's gonna be like a chit chat, Get Ready With Me video. Um, I've got all of this stuff. Very exciting. Also, got a new package today. Very excited to try this brand out. Like I've just never seen more like aesthetically pleasing packaging. Okay, so I just finished filming my to check it ready for me video and I really liked it. However, oh, I didn't do these two. That's what I have to remember. But like, I don't want any of this in my makeup bag right now, but I don't know where to put it either. I don't go through this right now. Honestly, I can't deal with it. I'm actually really hungry even though I just ate lunch. So, and I'm really craving ramen and like this ramen and door dashing thing has got to stop. Like, it is, this is actually out of control how much of stuff I have in this bag. Like, completely out of control. Not okay. Not okay at all. Okay, well, anyways, I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, like, do I order ramen tonight? It is Friday night, and I'm gonna be editing. All right, guys, I got some packages in. Today is really, like, a consumption-heavy day, so I'm sorry. Um, but we got some Bath & Body Works candles. I got Marshmallow Fireside, one of my favorite scents. Mahogany Teakwood. This really takes me back to LA with like older mates. Oh my gosh. Okay. Flannel. TK smell, says this smells like a hot 307. It really does smell like boys, but it smells like a good smelling boy. And then I got leaves. I never really get leaves, but I did. My biggest regret was not getting a refill of whatever is burning right here. It's the best scent. Oh, pumpkin pecan waffles. Like, my gosh, it smells so good. I also got a package from a girlfriend. I got this stuff with credit and it was a while ago and I literally cannot remember what I got. The stuff I always really want is out of stock and so it's like so hard for me to order from them. They Joggers, I really love the color. I have them in lilac um, and I think they're really comfortable. And then I got, oh, I love that. I, I love this set. Okay, I got this sports bra. Just thought that was super cute. And then I got finally a pair of biker shorts from them. Wait, what size is this? Small. Okay. It looks too small already, and they probably just didn't have a medium, so I'm assuming that's why I got a size small. Um, but I've wanted them from them for so long, and then a matching sports bra. Okay, so I did get two matching sets. That's great. Love that, guys. I like kind of want to keep the packages. My boxes today are really piling up. My favorite ramen is from Wabi House. It is so bomb. You can only get it on caviar in Dallas, no DoorDash or anything, so I'll have my caviar code down below, but it is like seriously my favorite thing ever. You can use caviar outside of Dallas if you guys are watching, it's not just Dallas people. I was just giving a restaurant wreck. Here is my bomb ramen. Okay, I'm actually gonna end today's vlog here just because one, I'm tired, and two, I'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night so there's nothing exciting to vlog. But I love you guys so much, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon.